Spin Pegasus here, and if you can't tell by the background, I might be seeing Wonder Woman later. It's a possibility. But for this very special movie review, I actually have a special guest. Go ahead and have a seat. So, um, this is our special guest for today. Pretty excited to have her on. I mean, uh, I'm a really big fan. See, what you guys don't know is when I was really young and still a little bit to this day, I, I always had trouble sleeping. And so when I was, you know, six, seven years old, I'd wake up at two, three in the morning and I couldn't get back to sleep and I was bored. So I would sneak out of bed and I'd go to the living room or the den or wherever we happen to have the TV and I would turn it on real quiet. And I was, I, was a, I was a Nickelodeon kid, so I would just turn on Nickelodeon, which was Nick at night, at, you know, two in the morning. And a lot of times they would play, you know, I Love Lucy and Gilligan's Island. But they also played Adam West's Batman and the original Linda Carter Wonder Woman. And I fell in love with Wonder Woman. Because... She, she's she's a, a, a crazy powerful, strong female hero that, honestly, most of the time, most of the time, she's the one saving the dude. Where, you gotta love, you gotta love Trevor. You gotta love, you gotta love Officer Trevor, or Captain Trevor, I can't remember, Commander, Captain, whatever. Steve. You can love, you gotta love Steve. But that man was hopeless, right? Yeah, you know... I mean, honestly, I don't know how he didn't see through the glasses and everything, but you put on a really good act, honestly. Yes. yes. Honestly. So I, I have a couple of questions before we go to the movie later. Um, what What do you think of that? Like, how do you think uh, Linda Carter portrayed you on a on the television screen? Well, I would say that she did a very good job with what she had at the time, because you know there were men producing that, so. It's very true, very true. But Linda Carter still does great work today, too. Yes. Making sure to really uphold, I think, what you stand for. Yes. Yeah, I, I totally agree. So, are you excited to see yourself on the big screen? Because, I mean, TV is one thing, but this is a movie. Are you excited? I am. And I am also very excited to see a movie with a female lead who is powerful, directed by a woman. Excellent. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I think this is going to be fantastic. And that's not just the gay in me. I mean, usually I'm all for, like, everything women, just because, you know, I feel like it's in my gay contract, you know? Mm. Um, but what do you think about Gal? Like, I mean, you, you, you approve of Linda Carter, but do you think Gal's going to do a good job and really represent you properly? I feel like she'll represent a different side of me, where Linda Carter was very proper and poised, where Gal were will be more gruff. You know, I think you're right. I mean, from her, from her short appearance in um, another movie, I really think she really captures your essence of being, you know, a, a soldier for peace. But when the fight comes, you're, you're, you're pretty, pretty crazy out there. You're, uh, yes. You've got some moves. You're uh, pretty impressive. Yes. Yeah. So, I, I do have one more question before we uh, go ahead and wrap this up and head to the movie. And that simply uh, is, there were some rumors flying around um, that you may be a member of the LGBT community. And, and that's really important to me because as my hero, that would mean so much to me. And you don't have to confirm anything. Well, I don't have to deny anything. Love is love. If you love someone, it doesn't matter what gender they are. You love them. Okay. okay <laughs> Dream come true, guys. There, there, there. All right. Well, I'll see you after the movie. <laughs> 